Hi, Camelback. We're going to spend a few minutes thinking about the gospel as we see it described and talked about in Colossians chapter 1. In this section of scripture, we see uh, the word gospel uh, appear twice, uh, and we're going to look at each of those uh, briefly. Uh, The first place we see it is kind of in the opening paragraph of the book of Colossians. And uh, what we see is uh, an actually basically a definition of the word, and that's in verse 5. And it says, Of this you have heard before in the word of truth, the gospel, which has come to you. So, So the gospel is a word of truth. And what's interesting about this word of truth or this gospel is <clears throat> what, what, what we see happening in this paragraph is a description of the people who uh, have believed, the Christians who have believed this word of truth, who have followed it. And what we see is a people that are full of faith and they're full of hope, they're full of love. We see that um, Paul is talking to them and, and he says he's heard of their faith in Christ Jesus and the love that they have for all the saints. And we see that um, uh, they have hope laid up for them in heaven because of these things. And then we go on to see uh, that that this same word of truth is bearing fruit in all the world and it's increasing. So we see this really vibrant picture of a Christian uh, family, a group of people who believe the word of truth. They had faith in Christ and believed the gospel, and the vibrancy and the life that comes from it. The second place that we see the word gospel is later in the chapter, and it's very interesting to read the contrast. In verse 21, we see, and you, it starts with, and you. So Paul is talking to the same group of people, right? They're Christians that he had just commended them for their vibrancy and their faith and their love. But the way he describes them here is very different. He says, and you who once were alienated and hostile in mind, doing evil deeds. Very, very different than the picture that we saw after having believed this word of truth. So he says, and you, uh, he is now reconciled in his body of flesh by his death, in order to present you holy and blameless and above reproach before him. If indeed you continue in the faith, stable and steadfast, not shifting from the hope of the gospel that you heard, which has been proclaimed in all creation under heaven, and of which I, Paul, became a minister. So here we see this group of Christians, and before they had heard this word of truth, before they had believed it, they had fa- before they had faith in this word of truth, they were hostile, they were alienated, they were doing evil deeds, but But through the work of Christ, through his death and through his resurrection, we see that he has been, they have been presented uh, holy and blameless and above reproach. And then ultimately what we have, what we already saw was that, that the change, the, 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 the change that was exhibited in their life was, was amazing. And it was spreading throughout all the world. Here we see that this word of truth, this gospel, this good news of what Jesus has done to reconcile us, to forgive our sins by his death and resurrection, brings a changed heart, a changed life. It brings a changed vibrancy. It brings us hope and faith and joy and love, like we see in, uh, in this first paragraph. So let's take a minute to think about what this word of truth means for us. We want to be a church at Camelback that is known, uh, just like Paul knew these Christians uh, in this paragraph, where he had heard of their faith in Christ Jesus and the love for which they had for all the saints and the hope that was laid up for them in heaven. We want to see the truth of the gospel go forth into all the world, and to bear fruit. We want to see that fruit in our own hearts. We want to see that fruit in our families. We want to see the gospel be known in our city, in our neighborhoods. And we want to see the gospel known in the world. 
So let's consider what it, what it means to believe in Christ and the work that he's done to reconcile us to himself, to present us holy, holy and blameless and above reproach. The gospel means that we are forgiven. And it means that we have life and hope uh, and faith uh, within us. And we can proclaim that uh, to those around us.